In today's video, we are talking about the magic that is text-based editing inside of Premiere Pro. Let's dive right in. Now we're inside of Premiere Pro and the first thing we will do is go to the Workspaces tab and head over to text-based editing. So we have an hour long clip that was from a recent Adobe Live that I've downloaded here to use as our reference in this example. You're gonna see the transcript, captions, and graphics window to the left-hand side. The very first place to start is just to simply transcribe the actual clip so that Adobe is doing its thing in the background to generate all of the actual text transcripts. Once the transcript is generated, we can actually go in and make changes to every part of that transcript. Now that our text and our clip have been transcribed, you can see that if we play this back. Hey, hey welcome back. What's up, everyone? We are back on our next section. I was not on our second section, but our next section with uh, our good man, Chris Porter. How you doing? A really powerful tool inside of the transcription window is down here at the bottom. We can actually bring up the transcript view options and select filler words, low confidence words, and press save. And now if we go through here, you'll notice that there's all these filler words. Uh, we're gonna get into it. We're not gonna waste our time, but if you wanna introduce yourself to the people. Uh... Usually those filler words are anything from uh or so, or just words that a speaker might want actually taken out if you're going through clip by clip. We can sort by filler words. And then we can globally delete every single one of these filler words. So everything has been highlighted here. Come in here, press delete, and we delete all. You'll now see that in our timeline, we have removed every single one of these filler words. Because yeah, we've been like <laughs> in contact for like years now. It's, been, it's good to actually be here yeah. uh, together. So guys, if you haven't already, make sure you go follow Chris Porter. Make sure you subscribe to Adobe. And I mean, it's, it's just an incredibly efficient way to cut out all of these little hiccups, you used to have to manually go through the video and actually listen, cut them out, close the gap, and instead you can do that with the click of one button. Now, a couple other things we can do, we can sort by the pauses. Again, these red highlighted marks are all the pauses in between clips. So if we wanted to do the exact same thing here, we could just come in, sort, delete, extract, delete all. All of those pauses are gone. And then if we come in here again, let's do the filler words. We're gonna remove all those filler words, delete, extract, delete all. And without us even getting into our sequence here, we've already cut out about five minutes of filler words and pauses, which in my opinion is a pretty amazing tool. So one thing that's really cool is if you highlight any section of your text, it will automatically give you an in and out point inside of your sequence. And rather than coming in here and cutting this sequence itself, all we have to do is press delete and now we've deleted that from our clip. Now to separate speakers when you actually bring that transcription in, double click the source file, make sure you select the language that you want, and here we're gonna separate our speakers and press transcribe. Then we can go in and we can edit their names so that we know when we're looking back through our transcripts which speaker is saying what. So now that we have our transcripts separated by speakers, we can actually just go in here and change the name of the speakers rather than speaker one and speaker two. So we're gonna just click on these three dots. We're gonna go to edit speaker name and press okay. If we play some of this back. I don't know, man, you're getting a lot of spit, but it's way we go. Okay, Axis, all right then, let's get it. That's it. All right, so what we're gonna do is. We're so you can see it does a really amazing job of actually separating them once we put those in. And now if I wanna actually start editing from the actual transcripts, I can do that. Like, let's say I just wanna remove this clip itself, highlight, delete. Boom, it's as easy as that. It is such an easy way to edit long form videos in particular. I love using this tool for long form interviews, for talking heads. It's just a really great way to not only sort and organize those clips before you get into the timeline, but to edit them like this as well. You can also come up here and use the search tool, which is a great powerful feature if you wanted to, let's say search things like whenever they use the word Adobe, we wanna actually save those clips. So I'm gonna come in here and search for Adobe and you can see that it has highlighted for us every time the word and the mention of Adobe has been used. And we can actually come in here and add a marker. So we now know, okay, here's our marker for when they mention Adobe. We can add another marker here. And so on our timeline now, we start to have these markers of places that we wanna actually go back and remove and pull out and extract from the final video. If you're going through here, you can just edit the text by pressing return or enter on your keyboard. You can come in here and fix any spelling issues before we actually go to the next phase, which is creating the captions from our transcript. Now let's say I wanna actually export this transcript as a static way for a client to review and add their notes before I get into the edit. You go up here to these three dots, 
and you can go to export CSV file, text file, or transcript. You can just save this whole transcript as its own text file to share with the client before getting into the edit. Now I wanna create custom captions to finalize this video. So we're gonna go up here to create captions. And under here, you have all these different options. So we have a style, there's no style there right now, but I'm gonna create one and save it. We can change our caption lines from double to single. I prefer a single line of caption. And then we can change these durations and characters a little bit. The format is always just set to subtitle. And then we're gonna press okay and create those captions. Now, if I go over here to my captions and graphics, this just allows me to see my captions a little better. All of our captions are now perfectly synced with our transcript. But there's one last thing I wanna do. I wanna change the style of this to be a little bit punchier, to actually be more my style. So all you have to do is come in here to one caption. So we're gonna hover over this, go to Essential Graphics, Edit, and here are all of your options for actually editing that caption. So let's say I wanted to change my font to something that I like for my own work. I like to have an all caps, so I'm gonna make this all caps. Let's change the size to something like 65, and maybe we want a background, and the background to be something that pops a little bit. So we'll add some nice blue to our background. And I like having the background a little bit of an opacity, but let's change that to like 80%. Okay, so from this to this, to me looks a lot better. All right, so to save this as a style, you're just gonna come here to where it says track style, press create style. We're gonna name this Adobe Captions style. Save to the project and save to your local files and press okay. And in doing that, now it has actually updated those captions to every single one of the captions we've already created. And it is a useful style that you can incorporate into all of your other captions moving forward. So that there is some text-based editing magic inside of Premiere Pro. We went over how to generate those transcripts first, sort them by speaker name, pull out all those pesky filler words that we as editors just know and love. And finally, we were able to use those transcripts to generate and stylize our own captions to use in future videos but I encourage you to use text-based editing in your work, especially with long-form content like this that is interview heavy and dialogue heavy. It will save you so much time and will probably prevent you from pulling your hair out in most cases. Thank you to everyone who has stuck around on this eight-part Adobe Live series with me. I hope that you have gotten something out of it with every single one of these lessons, and I cannot wait to see what you create.